Welcome back, Alvaro Peralta with Mining IR, and we are at the mining investment event of the North here in Quebec City. The sun has come out, it is gorgeous here, and full on summer with us is Alexandra Charon of Empress Royalty Corp, and welcome to Quebec. Thank you, thanks so much for having me today. You know, I was so excited to hear about uh, the way that Empress Royalty has been set up, and Let's give our investors a little bit of a timeline. You said it's about a three-year process so far. Just give us a little bit of history. Where yeah. does it come from and what is it that you brought to the marketplace that didn't exist before? Yeah, so um, my background is I was uh, in structured finance in a group called Endeavor Financial, one of the leading investment banking firms focused on mining finance. And I teamed back up with the managing director, David Rose, from Endeavor Financial. Um, as we were seeing, it was an opportunity in the market that the streaming companies are providing that streaming finance solution to uh, directly to mining companies were doing bigger and bigger ticket sizes. And no one was providing that sub $25 million financing solution to the junior and intermediary side of the market. So we established efforts with the concept that this would be a very a great way to great, great returns for shareholders. And since we launched the company about three and a half years ago, we've layered in four key investments that are now generating revenue. We've invested about $24.5 million to date. The asset value is close to 60 million US, and it's going to generate about 60 million of revenue just off our four initial investments cumulatively over the next five years. So there's there's over 100% right there. And and give us a little bit of, uh, well, let's talk about those investments that you've made. So our four key investments, um, uh, which again are all revenue generating now, we have one in Peru, which we structured as a gold stream. We have one in uh, Mozambique which is a gold royalty, it made more sense to structure it than as a royalty thing in Mozambique. We just announced we closed one in South Africa as another gold royalty, and then we have a silver stream in the project that's just getting to commercial production now in Mexico. So, you know, it's it's getting that stable revenue now coming into Everest. Two of those were development that are now in production, and we want to continue to repeat that formula, bringing in those types of investments. So our portfolio IRA right now is about 30%. Um, and it's all gold and silver that we're looking at. You know, you mentioned that, and, and in a space now within the mining industry where people are buying all sorts of different assets, it's amazing that you guys have been able to really zero in on gold and silver. What is a, what's the philosophy around that? Why gold and silver? And what expertise are you guys bringing to the table that allows you that? Yeah, so sort of to break down the, the white precious metals, and then I'll, I'll talk about the team. With precious metals for us, we really feel that gold and silver are going to go a lot higher, and there's such a you know there's such a unique opportunity for gold and silver projects, especially in the investment size that we're making. So the five to ten million dollars as we grow, we'll get to twenty five. But right now, the sweet spot really is five to ten million. And there's a lot of these smaller mines that are in production or want to get into production. Essentially, that's what we're doing as we're creating that mining, uh, that financing solution, that investment that really allows us to target those and get great returns as a result. We don't want to have other commodities in there. We really feel strong about just staying true to gold and silver, really allowing shareholders to get the leverage the quality prices and the precious metals. When it comes to the team and the experience, we all come from a structured finance background. We've all been in mining for a long time. Management and board completed over $8 billion in transactions over 250 years of experience. We have a strategic relationship, a partnership with Endeavor Financial. Um, again, as I mentioned, they're a leading investment banking firm. So this gives us, a, allows me to keep our team lean and mean and you know, keep our GNA low, but really punch above our weight. I have access to their financial analysts, their mining insurance, their geologists, investment makers, cash flow modelers, to not only source opportunities in a unique way, but be able to quickly vet them, structure, and then execute. So it really does give us a competitive advantage. I'm sure they're super excited when you know when you when you uncover a good one. I'm sure they're excited to lend you the money to. Well, they, they don't lend us the money, so they are our advisors. So they okay, have, they're they advising shareholders and Empress. And again, David Rhodes also a managing director is our executive chairman. So it and I was I'm ex Endeavor, so it's my old team I'm working with oh, okay. to do this. So that's the, the the machine and the horse that we're doing it with. In terms of a debt facility, we do have one with Navari. Uh, we just refinanced and restructured that in December of this last year. And what we have is a $28.5 million accordion facility, which essentially means we use what we want when we draw down. We're not paying a stand by fee. We drew down an initial three and a half to repay our existing debt. And we drew down five to fund that one I just mentioned owned by Golconda, the Galaxy Mine. And then now we have $20 million US available to us to further deploy in the portfolio to bring in similar investments we've done to date. And that really is our key driver. Without right deleting the shareholders. Without deleting the shareholders, it's our goal. And then we've got the opportunity with 
um, with Navari, we've just brought on uh, Nora Minkus, who is our Vice President of Corporate Development, who also comes from the structured finance background, to really source several charities with me and Endeavor, really bring some new investments to the portfolio. But we're all large shareholders in this company, so for us, we go through an extensive due diligence process. You know, we're not... It's your money on the line. It's our money, we're tied, <laughs> yeah, and very much so, and our reputations too. So we do go through an extensive due diligence process. We hire third-party engineers. We really do an assessment and keeping in balance the diversification of the portfolio. So standing shoulders to shoulders with, with investors, uh, what, what would whet the appetite of an investor right now? You know, you're three years in, you're about to go cash flow positive, uh, Obviously, that is enough to make uh, an investor salivate. But what else should they be looking at in order to assess the opportunity here? Yes, yeah, so we just just hit cash flow positive now. Um, as we as the current investments we've made, those four, the, you know, three of them are ramping up production. So you'll see them increase in our financials as the revenue starts to come in from those investments, you know, delivering and, and bringing those in. You'll see us with that twenty million from Nabari bringing in further investments, and we're very excited and really want to be able to do that in the next while. So you'll see, you know, increase in revenue from existing new investments coming in. And then we really believe as people start to recognize how tied to gold and silver we are, as the equity markets start to reflect that, we really should get a true valuation. Excellent. And when we look at, if I, as an investor, I'm looking at an opportunity here. Obviously, I want to buy low and sell high, or I want to buy low and hold long. Where does... I saw that. This royalty sit. This is a this is a long term play. I'm I'm looking at. It's not. It's not a flip situation where you're you're We're looking for certain real long term value, and that is our goal. You know, we've we've delivered on the three and a half years. We've created value from the twenty four and a half million in asset value using and that that NASA value I give you is using nineteen hundred gold and twenty two silver. So you can imagine how much better it is in today's market prices if we're marketing conservative. So, you know, there really is that long-term value we're trying to create. It is repeating what we've done to date, building the portfolio out, having consistent sources of revenue. Right now, it's more focused on production, but as we grow as a company, we want to get slightly bigger ticket sizes up to sub 25 million. I'd like to go a little bit earlier stage, uh, you know, when we've got that free cash flow coming from the portfolio that we can reinvest. And so it is, there's no shortage of opportunities to invest in. And so it's just finding the right ones and layering them in at the right time. Alexander, you know, I, I agree that there's such a diverse amount of opportunities to invest in. At the same time, my my feeling in the industry is for a lot of the junior mining companies and even small producers, they're frustrated. It seems that the system has broken down. The, the whole... Um, the whole raising of money and the, the, this this cycle of boom and bust more bust than boom in the last 10 years has worn the this worn them down a lot so a lot of these mining companies they're tired and they're actually not even wanting to go to market and it sounds like what you have is a new way of them actually being able to have access not just to capital but to expertise that they need in order to go in these last steps and, and get to the point that they need to get to, to, to get a either a really good exit or get into production. Yeah, absolutely. Especially in the last couple of months, it's been, you know, at different conferences as well and talking with different groups just through our network. There are so many great producers out there that just don't have that extra cash to go and do further mm. underground exploration work and development work. And it's more than cash. Yeah. It's expertise as well. Yeah, so that's where we can help them with the things they're doing. But it really is... You know, there's, there's so many opportunities like that. They don't want to dilute the shareholders further at the moment. So we're seeing a lot of opportunity like that. And if the equity markets do start to actually get a proper reflection of what the true value is, there's so many companies that want to go public that are private that we're invested in and will have the opportunity. So again, there's no shortage of opportunity. It's picking and choosing the right ones. Um, and hopefully the markets start to reflect the real value in a lot of these companies out there soon. Any last words you want to give potential investors here uh, that, they, that they should be digging deeper on yeah i mean i think uh, for anyone just have a look through our website look at our presentation you can reach out to us at any point have a conversation we're happy to jump on the same it's myself and natasha Frakes, who is our vice president of investor relations uh we love obviously we've built this company we're building it further out we'd love to talk to anyone more about it well you know one of the th great things about our uh, first today about empress royalty uh so here's some of the things international yes you're in you're in the you mentioned all the some of the top mining jurisdictions in the world uh, only gold and silver, extremely um, focused. You have a team of experts that saw an opportunity. Uh, there's a huge gap for that. 
not just financial resource that's necessary in order to get to the next step for a lot of these junior miners or small producers, right. as well as ex, you know the expertise that you bring to the table. Obviously, the valuations in the stock market all across the mining industry are as beat up as they're going to get, hopefully. And uh, and you guys are cash flow positive. So yeah. And we're sure to get 50% discount compared to our peers on an asset base, basis, That's, right? 75% if you look at the some of the other ratios in there. So yeah, we're definitely trading significant discounts to where we should be right now. So it's a buying opportunity. Definitely. Alexandra, it's been such a pleasure having you on. We're looking forward to see as as you continue the cash flow uh, improvements uh, to see where Empress goes. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks. It's a real pleasure. Me.